This character seems to be a lot more sort of passive than a lot of the other characters that you play. How, how much of a challenge is something like that, you know, when obviously the responsibility is to act as opposed to be passive? Right. Um, it's kind of easy, actually, because you don't got to do anything. <laughs> yeah. um, no, it, 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 was, um, I, it was good. I had, um, before the movie was really starting to go, um, three or four months before it was actually... Uh, I knew we were going up to rehearse and it was becoming a real thing. It it sat with me for a long time, so it was, uh, I, w I was able to really kind of wrap my head around what Arthur was thinking or what um, what he does in the movie. And it's really just uh, basically a, a guy who is inexperienced. He, you know, he's young and he hasn't really experienced anything like it before. And the things that he did know, his parents, the, really the two things that were ever you know, the solid base in his life are basically separating now. And so he he's, doesn't know what to do with himself, in a way, until she comes along and he, he has that foundation back and so he's able to grow and he's able to, and he's able to, uh, you know, confront things that he wasn't able to confront or that he didn't know how to confront. He's able to, you know, he's able to assert himself a little bit. Mm -hmm. Olivia, for, the, for, for you this was sort of a more introspective character, sort of than the one you played in Juno. Would you say this is maybe closer to, you know, your, your personality, or which one would you say is more? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I think that bits of me bleed into Lila and Leah. Um, but, um, you know, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a challenge to play Lila. I, I, well, she was very well written, you know, which kind of takes your job away. But, uh, you know, the, the atmosphere was set by David, which is very relaxed. And, and I think that Lila is by nature a very grounded person. I mean, you don't find out too much about her. The story is not about her life. But, you know, we decided that she comes from a really solid family. Um, you know, that, that uh, f you know, her family has spent a lot of time together because, you know, you, you do learn that she moves around a lot. So that's really the thing that, that is uh, her foundation, is her family. And because of that, she's able to emerge, uh, you know, very grounded, uh, very wise about um, what other people need in order to be stable. And that's what she, she, she gives to Arthur, is, is her support and, and her ears and, you know. And I am totally not even sure what I'm saying anymore right now. Why? Don't leave. I'm nice, aren't I? I'm really nice, actually. And I like you so much, and I, I made it so clear. And I just have so much fun when we hang out. I just, I, I can tell. I did say that I liked you. Huh? See? What? Do you have any idea how adorably cute you are? No. Right now? Come here. No, you come here. Come here. No. Give me halfway. <laughs> there were a lot of times when we were working, it didn't even feel like we were working because, you know, we were, we, we would just move to a different room with a camera, but the environment and the atmosphere didn't change even when the camera was rolling and when it wasn't. I mean, uh, we've said, you know, if, if, if you had been filming us, um, you know, not acting the scene, it probably would have come out looking more or less the same. <laughs>